Hi, I'm Dave Stapley, Pro Project Manager for the Comox Valley Conservation Strategy. I'm standing here today uh, next to Morrison Creek, which is a beautiful creek in an urban area. This is really what the core of the conservation strategy is about. It's about protecting areas like Morrison Creek, which is a riparian area and habitat for fish and uh, rare species of reptiles and plants in an urban area. And how we do this uh, is that the conservation strategy has a land use planning framework that local governments can enact through policies, regulations and incentives. The Comox Valley Conservation Strategy a community partnership was set up six years ago through the help of the foundation and uh, we now have over 20 organizations, community organizations involved. Our work has focused on education outreach to local government, development industry and landowners and to promote the implementation of our strategy. In the first uh, six years of our project, we focused on establishing the goals and the high-level policies in local government through participating in over 10 major land use planning processes like the regional growth strategy and official community plans. Through this work, we managed to develop a, an, a very good active working relationship with local governments who've all endorsed our conservation strategy. We've established in all the local governments goals and policies that uh, for implementation of the plan and what we need to work on in the future which is what our our current project application is about is to focus on establishing the regulations and the incentives to fully implement our strategy. We've had some success uh, establishing uh, regulations, environmental de development permit area regulations in the village of Cumberland for protecting sensitive ecosystems and uh, biodiversity corridors. This is a major accomplishment as we as the regulations were cutting edge for all of the province. What we will be doing now is working with the other local governments to establish similar policies and putting on a push on with the municipal governments to utilize incentives so that we can support developers to do the right thing and ensure that their developments do not negatively impact our sensitive areas in the valley.